Hi everybody, I just got back from a two week vacation to Virginia and Arizona, had a great time, so now I am ready to get back in the kitchen and start cooking for you. So today's recipe is a cauliflower paella, which means we are gonna substitute out the rice and in its place, we're gonna add cauliflower. So I tell you, it's really delicious, very healthy. We're gonna be adding some chicken, some grilled shrimp, and some spicy sausage, and a lot of other things that are going in this dish, guys, and I really think you're gonna love the flavors. So I'm Rockin' Robin, and I'm gonna show you how to do it right after this. All right, so let's go over our ingredients. Now we have a few, but don't be intimidated. First off, we have our cauliflower florets. Now, if you need a tutorial or you wanna know how to do it how to cut a, a whole head of cauliflower easily. I've got a video for you and I'll leave a link right over here and you can check that out. We'll need some shrimp. I have some prawns here. These are wild caught and they are also already peeled and deveined. Here I have some chicken cubes. This is chicken thighs that were boneless and skinless and all I did was just cut them into bite-sized chunks. Here we have some Adele sausage. It's already cooked, so all we have to do is just slice that up into pieces and we'll add that to our dish. We'll need some salt, garlic powder, we'll need some uh, red pepper flakes, smoked paprika, oregano, some turmeric. We'll need a fresh lemon. Use an organic one because we're going to be using the zest from this lemon and we want it to be organic and we'll be using a little bit of the juice as well. I have finely diced yellow onion here some red bell pepper, some carrots that I've cut up you know, nice and fine so they'll cook up pretty quickly. I have some garlic that has been minced, fresh parsley. So in my measuring cup over here, I have a little bit of white wine and into that I dropped in a few saffron threads, about a pinch. And the reason for that is I want the saffron to infuse into the wine and that takes about you know at least 15 minutes. Mine's been in there for probably an hour and uh, it's gonna just develop the flavors really nicely. We'll also need some chicken broth and some olive oil. Okay, everybody, we're gonna start off by processing our cauliflower so that it looks like rice. So since we already have the florets cut, we just place them into the food processor. Don't overfill it, probably about a half full or so. And we'll do this in a couple of batches and just pulse away until it looks, like I said, just like rice. This is pretty much what you want it to look like. Kind of resembles rice, doesn't it? So I'm just gonna pour this into my container and do my second batch. Okay, so now that I've processed all of the cauliflower, we are ready to head over to the stove and start cooking. All right, guys, we're gonna start off here at the stove. I got my frying pan. It's not even on yet, so it's cold. I'm gonna add about a tablespoon, maybe two tablespoons of oil, olive oil, and I'm gonna add my garlic to this. Notice there's a fair amount of gar garlic there. I really love garlic. And I'm gonna let that infuse. I'm gonna put the temperature on low because I don't want my garlic to burn. I just wanna heat it up nice and slow, give it a chance to um, infuse that garlic into the oil a little bit. And then once it comes up to temperature, gets warm, then I'll just let this go for like one minute. All right, time for the temperature to go up. And we're gonna add our onions. And I'm gonna saute these for between three and five minutes. We're gonna get them nice and soft. All right, guys, it's been five minutes here on the onions. Now we're just gonna start tossing in our chicken. My heat's on medium high. I'm gonna add a pinch of salt here to this. I'm gonna add now the bell peppers. Beautiful color. And the carrots. And a couple of bay leaves. We're gonna cook this until that chicken cooks up. Now while our chicken is cooking up here with all the vegetables for, you know, a few minutes, I'm gonna go ahead and marinate the shrimp so that it has a little extra flavor because we're gonna grill that up separately in a grill pan. So I'm gonna add a little bit of olive oil to that and just a little bit of salt and some smoked paprika. All right guys, so you wanna cook your chicken you know, make sure it's not pink. Uh, this cooked for about 10 minutes, and now it's done and we're ready to start adding our other ingredients. All right, I'm gonna add the cauliflower to this. 
you know, mix everything up. Now I'm going to add that little bit of wine. So I'm going to pour it through a strainer so that the little threads don't go in. Next goes our chicken broth and the turmeric, and I'm going to sprinkle that around so that it gets evenly distributed. I've got some dried oregano. I'm going to sprinkle that around. I've got more smoked paprika. Give it that nice smoky flavor. Now, right now I've got it on low, but I'm going to turn it up just medium low right now. I'm going to give it just a little sprinkle of garlic powder. Now, the red pepper flakes are optional in my view, depending on how spicy you like things. I'm just doing just a hint of heat. Now, remember the sausage also has some heat to it, depending on which one you use. In fact, we're going to add those next. All they need to be is heat. You know, they just need to be heated up. I'm going to put some of that lemon zest right on top. I like to zest first and then use the, you know, get the juice out of it because it's just nice and plump this way and it's easier to zest. Now for the lemon, we're just going to do a little sprinkle, probably about a teaspoon, maybe two worth. And now all we have to do is let this cook because we want to cook the cauliflower just a bit so that it's, uh, you know, not too al dente. So I'm going to stir this around, cook this over medium low heat probably for about five or six minutes. Okay, so while our dish here is cooking for, like I said, five or six minutes, uh, make sure everything gets heated through and you've tasted it to see if you need to adjust your seasonings. I had to add a little more salt and I added a little more smoked paprika. Now, in the, while that's cooking away, I've got a grill pan here, a beautiful grill pan, cast iron, and we're gonna grill up our prawns so that they get that nice little browned up crust that I like to put right on top and just, they taste fantastic. So that's what we're doing. All right, so I'm gonna start grilling the shrimp. These aren't gonna take very long at all. Don't wanna overcook them. And as they get done, I'm just gonna place them right on top of our dish. It's gonna take about three minutes a side, maybe, something like that. I love that little caramelization that you get when you fry them up like this instead of just placing them on our dish. All right, our shrimps look done. Time to just place them right on top of our paella. So guys, here's our cauliflower paella. It smells amazing. Only thing left to add is a little bit of parsley on top, just like that. And I tell you, this is really delicious. And there's, you know, you get a whole pot full here. And I'm telling you, it'll serve a good six people. So I hope you guys will try this. I'm gonna serve up a little bit. Still got a little steam rising. Get a little bit of everything in there. Got a lot of flavors going on in here, guys. We got a little spicy, we got a little hint of sweetness from the sausage, the saffron, the onions. Uh, it's, it's really good, the garlic. So I think you, you guys really should try this recipe. You're gonna love it. I, I love it. Mm. So good. So healthy for you and so, it's just refreshing. It's just, you taste that citrus in there as well with the, the lemon zest. Super, guys. Please try it. Let me know what you think down below in the comments, okay? So if you haven't subscribed before, I've got a button up there you can click and you'll be notified every week when a new video comes out. So I hope you'll join us and uh, leave me a comment, give me a thumbs up, you know, all those good things. So thanks again, everybody. We'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.